What's up, Ben? Uh, with all the young guys becoming superstars now, who's the next big prospect that we should be on the lookout for? Good question. Thanks for asking. The next big prospect to be on the lookout for. Uh, one, I think, that comes to mind immediately is Wander Franco in, in Tampa. Uh, I think everybody thought when Willie Adamas got traded to the Brewers that he was going to be the guy. I'm fine with him not being the guy yet. But he is the future shortstop of the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, he is a stud. He is absolutely insane in the field. Uh, he can rake at the plate. Uh, so he's going to be a huge... He's going to be a superstar in the game, I think. But another one I wanted to mention is a guy that was in in the big leagues this year. He made it up. He had a lot of talk around him. Jared Kalanick uh, had a tough start to his career in Seattle. He's a huge prized uh, prospect in the minor leagues for the, for the uh, Mariners. He comes up. He hits a homer early on in, in his uh, – not a, it wasn't his debut game, but hits a homer early on and then proceeds to go – on an 0 for 39 stretch, hitless in like 11 games in a row, really, really, really struggled and got sent back down. I do want to talk about him because I think he is going to be a superstar in this league. I talk about it all the time. Hitting is very mental. Clearly what he was going through was mental. It was clear as day. You watch the games. He just couldn't get a hit. He knew going up to the plate. He was walking up there with no confidence. Going on an 0 for 39 stretch on a guy with that much talent tells you it's all mental. He's going to be a stud in the league. So Jared Kalanick of the Mariners eventually will come back up and do good things for them. And Wander Franco with the Rays is my answer to that question. So hit me with the next one. Hey there, Ben Verlander. This is Charlotte Wilder of Fox Sports. Um, I'm calling because you left some comments on a picture of me with Barry Bonds uh, at the dog show, which is not a sentence I thought I'd ever say. But I want to hear your thoughts on Barry Bonds, man. He was my favorite player when I was growing up. It's about his home gym, which was kind of weird and kind of amazing. And uh, the dude looks great. So uh, tell me, tell me your thoughts. Uh, I'll hang up and listen. <laughs> Thanks for calling, Charlotte. Uh, our very own Charlotte Wilder, who was working the Westminster uh, dog show, by the way, which was sick to watch. So good work there, Charlotte. Also saw a picture that you posted on Instagram with Barry Bonds. That's getting into my territory. I don't. This is unfair. I want to take a picture with Barry Bonds. It's the greatest hitter that ever was. And Charlotte's at a dog show taking a picture next to him. And I see it. And I'm like, what? How? What? How is this happening? So Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds' dog, was in the Westminster dog show. I, I was perplexed seeing this happen. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that our own Charlotte Wilder, one, would be there covering it? And the most fitting thing in the world is that she just happens to run into Barry Bonds and takes a picture with him, whose dog is also in it. Unbelievable, man. Like, so jealous. Not only that you got to cover the dog show, but that you got to meet Barry Bonds. Man, that was awesome, though. Really cool. Really cool to see him there. Great interview he did for, for Fox Sports, and Charlotte did an awesome job there. So, Charlotte, thanks for calling, and I'm very jealous of you. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, Join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.